competition. And he goes, that's the same stuff I run in my Jeep. I can't believe you're putting this in a van. And the guy was a million miles an hour. And that's, huh. <laughs> then I realized, okay, this stuff must be pretty yeah, cool. Right, you know? right. But um, so anyway, the, the axle, the rear axle is always going to be engaged in high for everyday driving. And that makes sense, right? We're getting power to our rear wheels. It's a rear wheel drive vehicle. And then we leave the front in neutral. So no power to the front wheels. Okay. So this is going to go to the rear axle here. And then this is to the front axle. Okay. All right. So if we want to go to four wheel drive, we simply drop the front down into high also. And this is for four wheel high. Okay. okay. And now you see this is going to go to the front axle and this is to the rear. So we're getting full action there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what I really want you to see here is what's happening when we're shifting. We have this plate right here that is sliding across a series of gears there, okay? And when these gears are lined up nicely like they are here, it's gonna be real easy. Okay. Okay. But if they're misaligned just they, a little bit, they won't. They won't want to shift That's in. That's why you it's may have stop. to maybe pull forward or backwards exactly. just a little bit. Yes. Okay. Just know that, you know, it they might not line up ten times that you try and push this. And then on the eleventh time it's gonna go right in. Okay. It may go in on the first time. But the key is just to be patient with it, know that it's all mechanical. Okay. And just to get an understanding of kind of how that works, I think is important. Okay. So you'll know what you're feeling when you're shifting and, and all that good stuff. So um, the other uh, location that okay, we can now this go one's, to. This is the front, that one's the rear. Front and okay. rear, right. And so if we want to go to low range, we put the front back to neutral, and then we can go with the rear all the way up into low. And that didn't quite get in, so I'm going to go after it again, and there we go. So this is to the rear axle again and to the front. So this gives you the ability to go to rear wheel drive low range without necessarily having to go to four wheel okay. low. Um, so this is, so right now we're in that. rear low. Rear low, yes. Okay. I've had people who like dropping boats off at a boat ramp where they don't need four wheel drive and want that lower gear ratio to help them pull the boat out. Or I've whatever. done that in my four wheel drive room. If you're in stop and go traffic and everybody's going about one yeah. mile yes. an hour, yes. it works yeah. for that. Go, exactly. Okay. Um, and then to go to four low, we simply engage the front up there. That didn't quite go in either. And notice how there I'm kind go. of packing it out right. and going in. Right. Again. That's the proper technique for shifting. Okay. Um, and now you see we're going to have action to both axles, okay? And you know when it's all the way, you can feel it. I yeah, guess you need to practice like it a couple clicks. of times. Yeah, you'll get the feel of it. It's almost like two clicks that you'll okay. feel as it's sliding across those two gears, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're having trouble getting, getting it into low, um, you might be in neutral, neutral, okay? And let's say we can't get this to low. We're not going to be able to move the van, you know, because we're totally out of gear here. But what you can do is go to drive, and then back to neutral. And what that's done is it's moved some things around okay. in there, and then try it again. And if that doesn't work, try okay, it, do it drive, again. And then back to neutral. Okay. And that's what we're gonna or go reverse, do right now. Or, or reverse. Okay. Exactly. Just some gear. Okay. You just don't want to put it into park. If you're ever on neutral, neutral, you'll hear it kind of grind out. Okay. So. Um, okay. That's really the only thing to worry about is if you're in neutral, neutral here, just don't go into park. Keep it in neutral. Other thing, I've, I've had a, a customer call me and go, my tranny just went. I'm, I'm at the side of the road and I can't go anywhere. Okay. They had an ice chest sitting there and they hit the brakes. The ice chest slid forward. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Ice chest slides forward and knocks it into neutral. Okay, so typical <laughs> driving. Rear is in high. Uh -huh. Rear high, front's in neutral. Uh -huh. And then if you want to go to four high, it's the... Yeah, and that's sticking both in. That's the that's mostly everything you're going to use there yeah, all the time. Simply from this to high, back to neutral. Okay, and then if you want to go into low range, does it matter which one goes first? Well, you can't matter? have one in low and one in high. So I always this put the will front, not allow. It won't allow it. Mechanically yeah, not allowed. Okay. Exactly, and that would be a problem if it did. <laughs> so you'd normally stick one of them into low first. Exactly. I would go the front to neutral and then the rear into low first. Okay. And then the front into low. So the front into low. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the basics of it. More than anything is just to see the technique of, of shifting this in. If these gears yes. aren't lined up, you go, it'll stop, and then you back off again and you go at and you it go, again. What's wrong with it? Is there yeah. something wrong with it? There's nothing you wrong with it. You don't actually back the vehicle. You're just backing yeah, this Yeah, backing off. this off. Yeah, yeah and, then, okay. and you really don't be afraid to break. I mean, you notice it's in line of metal channel at all with it. You're not going to break anything okay. here. You know, again, it, it's down to that know. push button type stuff. I get some people go, doesn't seem to be working. Yeah. You know, Come on, you some force yeah, on it. Exactly.